If you're a talented artist who needs to raise money to realize a project, you may want to hear what this Emmy-nominated filmmaker has to say. Kelly Anderson is using Kickstarter, a website that connects creatives with a tool to raise needed cash. Thank you for joining me. Sure, my pleasure. So tell me about your film, My Brooklyn. My Brooklyn is a documentary by myself and Allison Learish Dean, and it's about the redevelopment of downtown Brooklyn, uh, an area known as the Fulton Mall area, which prior to 2004 was the third most successful shopping district in New York City, which many people don't know. It's a very uh, African-American and Caribbean space, a lot of small businesses down there, as well as chains. And in 2004, the city passed this massive plan to redo it. And if you live in Brooklyn, you've seen the, the results of that plan. Um, a lot of high-rise luxury housing and the displacement of over 100 small businesses um, catering to people in that area for you know, decades. Um, so the film is about city policy and how it's fueling the gentrification of the city. So in your field as, as a documentary filmmaker and producer, it's not easy to raise money and you have to use ev all the tools that you have available. What are, what are the tra traditional ways of raising money for a project like this? Uh, normally we would apply for grants, um, so that could either be from um, public television money, which would be a place like the Independent Television Service, which I've gotten money from for my past films. Um, I've gotten a little bit of money over the years from the New York State Council on the Arts, the Brooklyn Arts Council, sometimes we go to private foundations, um, but it's becoming really a very competitive marketplace for a lot of reasons um, in terms of fundraising. And so more and more people are turning to these less traditional models like crowdsource funding, um, which is what I'm doing right now with this Kickstarter campaign. So what makes Kickstarter so attractive? Kickstarter is, uh, I didn't know much about it, but I've learned a lot in the last 60 days. Um, I'm coming to the close of a 60-day Kickstarter campaign. So uh, the way that it works is you go onto a website, kickstarter.com, and you post a video about your project, and it's usually more than a trailer, it's usually a pitch from the director as well um, about why the film is important, and how you post how much money you want to raise, you give it a deadline, and then you uh, post rewards. So if people give, for example, to our campaign $50, they, can get, um, they get a set of custom dog tag necklaces with the logo of the film on it. If they give $125, they get a t-shirt, and if they give $250, they get a signed book by a photographer who's in the film. Um, so you have different reward levels, and uh, basically if you people pledge, people find out about the website, you post all over your social networks, and you email all your friends, family, and contacts, and there's a sort of, hopefully, a viral thing that goes on where people will then forward it to their friends. Um, and if you reach your goal in the amount of time that you've selected, then you get the money. If you don't reach your goal, um, ours is September 3rd, you don't get any of the money. So it puts a lot of pressure on you to really go out there and ask people to support your project. So you have to use social media to get the word out there. Uh, what are some other ways you've, you've used to raise money for the campaign? Um, well, the first thing we did was email anybody and everybody we knew and ask them to forward to their connections. Um, so that, that's been great because actually over the past couple of weeks I've noticed a lot of contributions from people that I don't know and nobody on the team knows. Um, we also did an extensive outreach to blogs. Um, so uh, we made a list of like 40 blogs um, in New York City that deal with issues of development, urban planning, Brooklyn, life, um, and got a lot of coverage on blogs and that also fueled contributions. And you, your film has a blog, has a website. Yes, we have our own website as well. One of the great things that happened is we were on a website called Jeremiah's Vanishing New York, which is a New York City, Manhattan web based website but the Huffington Post picked it up from there, and so there's a kind of um, ripple out effect that happens with the blogs that I didn't quite understand before I did this. So that's been really great. Um, yes, we have our own website. Uh, we also uh, Twitter, you know, um, about the campaign. We post on Facebook a lot. We did um, two rollout videos that came out after the initial Kickstarter video, so that was another opportunity to do another big push um, and to email people again. Um, we did some events, uh, so we did a fundraiser in downtown Brooklyn where one of the, um, the small business owners who's in the film, his name is uh, Cousins Dozen Donuts, uh, did a day down at Decal Market where he gave us all the proceeds from donut sales for the day. We did um, a fundraiser last night in Brooklyn um, at a bar hosted by a movie series called Film Wax. So we did a lot of events to get the, the buzz out there and get people out and um, generate discussion around the issues. 
and generate potentially a fan base for the film when it comes out and yeah. kind of like a built-in audience. Too. Well, that's what's great. I mean, I thought of Kickstarter as a way to raise money to hire an editor to finish the film. And what I realized is that it's, it's really much bigger than that. It's about growing an audience for the film before it's done. Mm -hmm. So, And um, what do you think your chances of success are in completing the fundraising effort? Pretty good. Um, they say that if you reach... Uh, I was looking at some statistics on the Kickstarter site on their blog, and uh, we've raised something like 80% of our money. So we've raised a little over 17,000 um, of a $20,000 goal. So I think with the amount that we've raised, the chances are pretty good. But I would want to encourage people to go and check it out, sure. and I'm sure you'll, you'll yeah. give them the link. And you so can, they can raise do that. above your your goal. Oh yes. So it, that's not, it's not like there's a cutoff. No, in fact, if you cruise around on Kickstarter, it's not only for films. A lot of people do. Um, uh, industrial design projects or they invent things and I've seen projects get like 2,000% funded. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can go over and you know, all of us can use the extra, extra money. So what's one um, touching experience you've had through this Kickstarter process? Um, probably people emailing me. I mean, I, I got an email the other day from a woman who had left Brooklyn. Uh, she moved to Atlanta and she said, you know, I just got tired of waking up in the morning and seeing a new set of neighbors every, you know, couple of years and I realized that Brooklyn wasn't the place that I ha had known it as for all these years and I just packed up and left and I'm so happy that you're doing this and, you know, she sent everything out to her network. I mean, I've gotten quite a few $250 contributions from people I don't know. You that know? was my next question, yeah. like what's, what's a surprise in the fundraising that, process? That, you yeah. know, and then if it's, you know, when I get $250 from someone I've never heard of, I Google them and I find <laughs> out who they are. So there was one who's an affordable housing developer, you know, who out of the blue just saw it and decided to pledge to a, you know, and that makes me feel like, wow, someone who really knows this issue saw our three minute video and was moved enough by it to contribute $250. I mean, even if you have money, that's a huge show of support. So for me, that's been really um, heartwarming and great. Well, I wish you the best with the rest of the campaign and the completion of the film. Thanks. And if uh, people want to check to check out the film's progress, they can go to, tell me your website. MyBrooklynMovie.com. MyBrooklynMovie.com. Thanks for watching.